okay. Uh, maganda maganda umaga po. Welcome to Sports Corner PH Interviews on a new month, March 1, 2022. Dalawa pong interviews ang gagawin po natin. Una po sa Zoom, uh, ngayong umaga. And of course, mamaya meron po tayong isa pa na face-to-face interview. Makakusap natin isa sa mga leaders ng one of the sports organizations natin na ating uh, bibigyan natin daan sa ating programa. And for this morning, makakasama po natin ngayon upang mapag-usapan ng mga latest happenings sa Special Olympics Pilipinas. Ang kanilang national director na si John B. Abido, well, alam natin ang SOP o Special Olympics Pilipinas is an organization na nakasentro sa mga athletic clinics, sa mga, mga sports clinics, sa mga sports uh, activities. Eh, in regards ka sa ating mga kapatid natin, persons with intellectual disabilities. So, bibigyan natin uh, na pagkakataon na uh, at oportunidad na mapag-usapan ng mga highlights and achievements and what do we expect for next uh, for this year para dito sa SOP. Sir John B, maganda umaga and welcome to Sports Corner. Magandang umaga. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Gab, for really providing us the platform to speak about what we're doing in Special Olympics. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all your followers and listeners here sa Sports um, uh, Corner. Thank you so much, Sir John B. And of course, my guides po sa inyo lahat dyan sa SOP Board. Sa pamumula po ng kanilang uh, chairwoman na si Ma'am Akiko Thompson, Ang Jepa rin si Ma'am Kay Samson, di ba, sa SOB board? Yeah, ano, uh, um, Kay is not a board, but he's a staff. Um, he is my uh, program director. Ayun. So, lagi ko binakakausap si Ma'am Kay with regards niya dito sa mga activities sa, sa SOB last year. Especially yeah. ito sa Special Olympics World Games. Pero, so far, kamusta na po ang, uh, uh, ang uh, SOB ngayong pagpasok na ng taon? Nakadalawang buwan na. At meron kayo mga significant achievements so far sa inyong uh, organization. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, Special Olympics is really a global non-government organization that provides year-round sporting opportunities for people with intellectual disabilities. Now, to uh, for the benefit of our listeners, no, intellectual disabilities, really, we define that in the context of Special Olympics na yung IQ is 70 and below. So it's either acquired or um inborn, no? So yan yung um Special Olympics. So nagsasabi po tayong year round kasi we are not just busy during competitions but weekly we really provide Olympic type of sports. So kapag tatanungin naman po natin kung anong klase ng mga Olympic type of sport is that na we really provide 36 type of um Olympic uh, sports. So we do not modify uh, but yung wala lang sa Special Olympics is yung mga contact sports like judo, um, martial arts, and yung um, that would uh, involve um, contact kind of ano, parang, um, engagement talaga between the two athletes. No? And um, yeah, Special Olympics uh, were very unique kasi uh, masabi natin we are really a sports organization but we are more than sports. So um, aside from sports, we provide employment, we provide livelihood, um, education, and some other holistic development that would ensure um, holistic development of an athlete and the community in general. So with your question as well, how are we um, right now? Well, Special Olympics, masasabi talaga natin that 2023, we ended the year with a bang. And um, 2024 is really a pivotal year for us because we are doing the expansion all over the country with our presence. And we are so busy forging you know, strong alliances with national sports um, associations. So that is why we're having this kind of parang partnership then with the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas. Because this, this is not just about sports. This is all about grassroots and inclusive sports. No, yan yung ang ginagawa talaga natin na everyone will be given the same opportunities and platform just like everyone else. Okay, Sir John B. Uh, mamaya natin bagitin niya itong uh, partnership with you with SPP. But let's focus on the uh, achievements niya ng uh, Special Olympics Pilipinas for the past year Dahil ang dami mga activities both online and in-person ang isinagawa 
ng uh, SOP for the last year. And of course, ang uh, pinakamahalagang uh, highlight o oh, pagtutunan ng pansin natin is yung particip- participation ng ating uh, Philippine team dyan sa Special Olympics World Games noong nakaraang taon. Can you share to us ano yung mga uh, uh, accomplishments at mga goals na in-undertake ng SOP for last year na pwede natin magbigay ng mga reflections or lessons to further improve and of course to strengthen yung ating uh, programa for inclusivity sa sports. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2023 is very important for us kasi we sent a very small delegation to the Special Olympics World Games. That's our summer games in Berlin, Germany. That was um, June 2023. So we've sent a total of 17 um, member um, delegation. And out of 17, we have six athletes talaga, meaning ito yung mga beneficiaries natin with intellectual disabilities and two unified partners. So ito namang mga unified partners, meaning they do not have the intellectual disability. No? So they play alongside. So they participated in three um, um, events. Um, we have the athletics, we have the aquatics, and we also have the boat share. And uh, we're so happy to, to inform you that we've garnered four golds, um, two silver medals, one bronze, one fourth placer, one um, uh, eighth placer. No, so even despite na for a fact na we are a small delegation, but we brought home several you know medals for the country and for Special Olympics, more than the the gold medal, it's really their participation, their um confidence to really participate and compete, especially in the international stage. Bukod pa rito sa Special Olympics the World Games, sa uh, meron kayo mga activities na nakaline up na isa na sa gawa po our persons with dis- our intellectual disabilities yeah. for the past year. Of course, meron mga online and on-sites. Especially yung uh, last year, parang mayroong activity with regards na sa uh, Special Olympics Day. Uh, can you share to us po? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, um, tatama yun. No? Thank you for pointing out. Um, sa so, so, sobrang daming activities na that we have done both in person no, and virtual, Um, I I, I would say na, um, well, that the Special Olympics Day is really important for us with the uh, uh, Philippine Olympic Committee, with the POC and several um, sports organization kasi this is the very first time the Special Olympics was given the opportunity to be alongside the National Sports Association as well. So this is really a true testament that indeed, you know, um, inclusion is happening in the context of the, the Philippines. What other activities were? Uh, we have been so busy doing unified sports um, activities, you know, in the field of um, um, basketball, football, bowling, um, boche, swimming, ano pa ba? clinics. Um, clinics, um, badminton naman, we have been doing that with uh, badminton, with the Badminton uh, World Federation, um basketball with gilas um boche with the department of education with the local government units and of course yung mga engagement din natin with the the online communities where we did actually uh, well until now like for example today we're doing our fit friday so the fit friday is really designed for our athletes na staying at home that they can still do you know a uh, fitness activities at the uh, you know sa in, inside their home so we would like our athletes to be active and busy talaga so um apart from sports we're also busy building um education campaign on inclusion you know, alongside the um, um the department of education um autism society of the philippines and several um organizations as well to really ensure that mas madami pang mga tao na makakaalam at matututo to how we could be able to embrace our um constituents you know with intellectual disabilities or regardless of abilities nila kasi we always believe that you know um regardless of your abilities or disabilities you always have something to offer to the table we look at your potential instead of disabilities kasi kapag magsasabi tayong person with disabilities automatically ang sinasabi kasi natin limitations eh na we are in uh, superior they are inferior we're better they are not diba so in special olympics that is why yung tawag sa ginagawa natin this is really a movement because um anyone 
you know, uh, may kilala kayo ikaw sir, di ba? Merong kakilala si Gorko na merong autism o merong Down syndrome or in general may intellectual disabilities, no? So, how do we really make sure that we provide a safe and um really um uh, uh, parang discrimination free kind of society um for them na i know madami ka din kakilala na alam mo na itong mga tao na to nan apparent yung disabilities nila eh kapag magsasabi kang intellectual disabilities but how do we make sure that the programs the services the policies the budget are really tailor fitted to their needs. Kasi kapag magsasabi ka nga yung, ano, like for example, inclusion, we're mainly talking about person with physical disabilities, right? We're mainly talking about LGBT and some minority groups. But, didn't you know that in the Philippines or all over the world, the biggest talaga na, um, ano tawag nito, na minority group are people with disabilities talaga. And um, according to studies, now 1% of the population has intellectual disabilities. In the Philippines, according to the uh, uh, to the data of the National Council for the Disability Affairs, January 25, no, that we have a total of about 200,000. Ano pa yan, sir? Hindi pa yan updated. Ang daming pang unreported na mga cases, no, na merong intellectual disabilities. So, kumbaga, there is a problem. However, we do not have the... the um the right programs mechanisms and uh, machinery to really address you know the the that kind of problem that is why in special olympics we're really you know working tirelessly to really ensure na kahit in our own little ways now we could be able to really address and resolve those kinds of problem but we do acknowledge that we cannot do it alone we need the support of the public private sectors like you to really widespread our understanding, our um, awareness about how we could be able to really provide our brothers and sisters with intellectual disabilities the same opportunities as we are enjoying as well. So, John B., uh, nabagit niyo siguro yung mga partners and sponsors ng iba't ibang activities ng SOB na dag natin, yung Chooks to Go, yung mm -hmm. Decathlon, at iba pa mga Ah, uh, nice mag-pledge na mag-sponsor uh, ng kahit anong event sa SOP or with regards na sa mga activities lineup. At least, yung efforts nila to uh, partner with the government organization, mga NGOs and private sector, ay eh, nakatulong ito na malaki to strengthen yung advocacy nyo para at least maasa natin yung athletic excellence and skills ng ating mga PID athletes. Yes, totoo yan, totoo yan. You know, we have to give um you know talaga big credits to our social partners, no, be it corporate, um non-government organizations or mga like-minded organizations kasi because of them mas nabibigyan tayo ng ngipin in terms of really strengthening, no? Um our athletic uh parang um capability no of our athletes and then at the same time mas nabibigyan tayo ng structure at mukha no to become main actors no in terms of uh, pushing the agenda of inclusion in the society so we're so thankful to all our corporate partners like Chooks to Go, uh, Macquarie, Henkel, White and Case, um sino pa ba Chevron, um uh, GoPro um and the different institutions no educational institutions like the University of Makati, International School Manila, British School Manila, um, Philippine Normal University, Ateneo, La Salle, um, University of Asia and the Pacific, all of them, you know, in their own little ways, actually, they have contributed um, immensely to really achieve our desires for an inclusive um, Philippines. And also, I would like to uh, mention the Office of the President of the Philippines, the Department of Education, um, the Department of Interior and Local Government Units kasi sila din, no, ang nagbigay din ng opportunity sa atin na ma-mainstream yung ginagawa natin in the government setting. Didn't you know that, um, Sir Gab, you know, in terms of athletes um, or number of people, you know, ang pinakamalaki talaga nating stakeholder is the Department of Education. The Department of Education alone has 5 million students. You know, and the private sectors, they have about 500,000 students. So, sila talaga yung tumutulong sa atin that 
inclusion or um inclusive sports doesn't only happen you know in, uh, uh, inside the or uh, on the court but also inside the schools um across the country so yan yung nilalabi talaga natin that is why right now we're working with the department of education in terms of creating that kind of inclusive sports framework na we hope to really develop that by the next three months and implement that beginning 2025 and somehow include that in the, the budget, you know, for 2025. So that's what we're really pushing kasi kapag magsabi ka kasi Sir Gab na ano, na inclusion agenda, it's not just about sports eh. You have to make sure that the systems, the policies, the the procedures the, the the programs are also inclusive kasi kapag sports lang tapos hindi naman ready yung sistema yung mga programa to really absorb you know our advocacy wala din kulang din so we have to make sure that we strike the balance and um we have champions um inside these systems to help us push the agenda forward Okay, let's focus on looking forward sa 2024. In the past two months, naging busy nga ang uh, Special Olympics Pilipinas because uh, kamakailan lang, last weekend, eh, nagkaroon kayo ng uh, parang memorandum of agreement between the SOP and of course ang ating basketball NSA sa mga basketball na Pilipinas which was happened during the uh, second uh, FIBA Asia Cup uh, qualifiers first window game sa pagitan ng Gilas Pilipinas against Chinese Taipei. Uh, can you tell us more at kung ano ang nilalaman nitong uh, memorandum of agreement and how will the both parties be beneficial para at least may sama na sa programa ng uh, SOP ang basketball, especially mga clinics and of course yung mga um, uh, inclusions natin sa iba't ibang mga, mga programs na ng SBP. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're so proud and immensely thankful that we have forged this partnership between Special Olympics Pilipinas and uh, Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas. But to give you a backstory as well, um, there was, uh, there is, no, um, a memorandum of agreement between the Special Olympics International and the FIBA. So this kind of um, parang MOA is actually the localization of the global um commitment. So it's really working towards basketball for all you know the, the inclusive basketball program kasi yung yung goal talaga natin is that na well number one, no special olympics to sbp na ma isama ni sbp yung mga agenda no na inclusion doon sa mga ginagawa nila now vice versa naman yung pagtingin natin sbp to so is that na um sbp will provide technical training opportunities talaga for our coaches no so yung mga um coaches nila will also train our basketball coaches to become the best also no na in terms of teaching or coaching our um at least in the field of basketball Now another thing is that we would like to do unified sporting opportunities na yung mga athletes you know um they will do the unified um sports um parang activities uh kasi we would like to really promote na um there is also inclusion in in basketball and also other opportunities like for example um going grassroots talaga meaning we would like na yung inclusive um, basketball will happen at the barangay and school level so yan yung um gusto nating mangyari that we as we expand nationwide magkasama si special olympics and sbp in terms of making sure that inclusive and grassroots basketball is happening not just here in manila but across the, the Philippines as well. So mainly that's the the overall, you know, um parang um um salient features of the uh, memorandum of agreement. It's all about um the two organizations working together for to make basketball available for everybody. Ano yung magiging expectations uh, on your, on their behalf uh, sa SOP para at least uh, maging mabunga nga yung uh, partnership ninyo, magiging long-term ang partnership with uh, SBP. And of course, uh, are you uh, looking also for other NSAs na oh, mag-tie up kayo, mag-partner kayo to at least ma-strengthen yung uh, goal ninyo na magkaroon kayo ng mga sporting clinics pa sa ating mga PIDs, especially on the grassroots level, nationwide. 
Yeah, well, uh, we have planned activities already, like for example, this coming March and April, the three by three, no, na um activities. Um, we have trainings for coaches. We have training for volunteers. Because kami din sa Special Olympics, we would like to make sure na sensitize yung mga coaches din ng um ng gilas. in terms of handing people with intellectual disability. So so sina coach John or Chico, sina coach um, Aquino. So sila din yung mga coaches natin were in pupunta talaga sila sa mga communities, no? So kung saan yung mga uh, beneficiaries natin, so pupunta talaga sila doon, including si attorney Erica D. So with your question, kung ano yung mga expect natin, well several talaga and we hope that during local competitions as well and national competitions, now we could be able to do that. Uh, we are going to do that no um through the support of the SBP Bukod pa sa partnership ninyo with SBP for the past uh, two months pa lang ng 2024 meron ba kayong mga activities na uh, major activities na na isagawa o na idaos ang Special Olympics Pilipinas sa uh, in January and February Yeah, we have done several. You know, last Sunday, we just ended our Kaya Mo, Kaya Ko, um, Unified Sports Events with the Rotary um, International District 3800 in Marikina Sports Center, wherein we gathered about 500, you know, um, at least and unified partners in one venue. And we played football, boche, basketball, relay, And um, I think five, no, a uh, five um events yung um ginawa natin um during the time. And um, uh, we're so happy na madami tayong ano na mga mga engagements na in the past months we've done already activities with the University of Makati in terms of the basketball clinic. We've done activity with the um white and case as well in terms of um sporting activities with their employees. We've done, ano pa ba yung mga nagawa natin with Asian Development Bank as well. So, kasama din sila. No? Um, we provided trainings, livelihood trainings for our athletes. We're in, we have seven, uh, seven athletes right now in C2. No? Um, holder na sila on Barista no? ng Amtesda. So, uh, so many, so many to mention. I cannot remember everything anymore. But I think almost every week we have... Uh, varied activities talaga that we have conducted um, already. So, di lang pala sa sports na katawal ng pansin ng SOP, but in other uh, skills, lalo na nilabagit din yun, meron kayong barista na nag-graduate, no? Yes, oo. So, we have seven. So, Um, that is in partnership with the Asian Development Bank and TESDA. And we look forward to, to have more at this na. Kasi ang tanong dyan, Sir Gab, is that na, okay, after the training, after the competition, what will happen to them? Kumusta naman yung economic, di ba, um, status nila? So if they're not cut out for employment, then how do we provide income opportunities for them? Because they need to earn as well. So yan yun. Um, binibigyan natin sila ng training so that na, After the training, maybe they would like to start their own business and we're providing capitalization as well. And don't tayo magsisimula na to really ensure na in terms of independence. No? So it's not just about physical independence, but it's all about economic independence as well. Kasi what will happen to them if their parents will pass away? What will happen to them if they're no longer fit for sports? So yan din yung tinitignan ni Special Olympics. So we wanna make sure that they are educated, that they are capable of doing no uh, things just like everyone else. So um we connect them to the different companies in terms of employment, no? Pero yeah, uh ang dami, ang dami ginagawa ni Special Olympics, you know. Um Special Olympics is really a huge organization, very ambitious, very vague. And um in the Philippines we are a very lean team right now, but um we're uh, um looking for more people, you know, to become coaches, volunteers, and staff of the the organization. Kasi hindi kaya ng iilan lang ito. We are stronger when we're together. Okay, so ano bang mga nakaline up pa for the next uh, 10 months para dito sa SOP? Ano ba yung mga Uh, inaasa natin ng mga upcoming projects pa na maaaring mag-contribute pa ng ating mga kababayan natin, especially yung mga uh, sports community para tumulong at least. Yeah, well, I think I have so much to mention. No? Well, um, the bowling, 
um, sports talaga, we're growing that. We also have the powerlifting. So we will have our powerlifting training soon in um, um, pagang, um North Edsa, no? So we have already an identified space there. We have a coach who owns um, a, a, pagang, um, a training um, a fitness center there. So we will do the powerlifting there. Um, golf as well. Um, um activity or um sports with um GCI Manila. We are also looking forward to do football with um University of Makati. Um bowling because um the, the first lady Lisa Marcos is also very supportive of us and she would like to play bowling once a month. No, um though we have already started a discussion, pero not yet identified kung kailan kasi that the first family has been um so busy. And um we are also working in Bangsamoro. No, so we are also bringing the agenda of um Special Olympics there. So we have already a memorandum of agreement with them and we're going to do the the sporting competitions you know, this April in Cotabato. So pupunta yung team doon kasi we're going to conduct the local competitions locally. I think we're going to do athletics, football, basketball, and bo uh, boche. No, and in Cotabato and nearby provinces as well. Another thing, um, we are also expanding um our sports in Cebu, Palawan, La Union, Cagayan de Oro, and Sambuanga. So we're going to the Sambuanga as well. Another thing that I would like you to know is that na we're launching as well our program in partnership with Dole Philippines. No, yung about notation. No, kasi kanina um Sir Cap, I have mentioned about. Um, livelihood, di ba? Education, sports. Ngayon naman, um, we are also going to, to mention about nutrition. No, So, we're developing that kind of menu book. We're in, in partnership with the na, na, uh, Nutritionist, Dietitian Association of the Philippines, the, the Dole um, company, na on how to prepare um, proper and nutritious food for our athletes. No, So, yan din yung gagawin natin. We're in, we're going to do that um across Mindanao but basically it will start in Bangsamoro um North Mindanao South Mindanao and Central Mindanao as well so so much things to to look forward um i think if you would like to become um a volunteer or a coach you know you can uh, message us on our facebook uh, or our website then we will you know our line is open to you 24/7 Okay, we ran out of time. Uh, pero, Sir John B., uh, uh, ito na ang pagkakataon on behalf of the uh, uh, Special Olympics Pilipinas na makapag-promote o makapag-share pa ng iba pa mga activities na nabanggit. And of course, uh, magpasalamat ka na sa ating mga taga-support na nga dito sa SOP. Uh, the floor is yours. Magpasalamat para magpasalamat. Yeah, well, definitely, thank you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. And to the broader community, thank you. Thank you for um, joining us in our movement for inclusion, that everyone is included. And thank you for choosing to include. And um, thank you also for giving us the the arms, the legs, you know, the, the opportunity to really impart what we can to make sure that it happens in the Philippines. So I think um, I would like to invite everyone, you no, know, na. Um, we cannot do this alone. We are stronger when we're together. Yan yung palagi kong um, sinasabi talaga. So, please, if you want to become a coach, no? so we have 36 type of Olympic um, sports that you can join in. So, wherever you are um, in the Philippines, I know you have a huge following. No, You can actually um, reach out to Special Olympics and we can provide you training. Uh, we can provide your coaching um, capacity development training to become a full-fledged you know, um, coach for Special Olympics. If you want to be a volunteer, either um, short-term or long-term, you know, Special Olympics is open uh, that uh, is open also for you. But if you don't want to become a volunteer or a coach, but you know someone you know, or may anak ka na may intellectual disability, Down syndrome, autism, or whatever kind of condition is that, they can become part of the movement. Because Special Olympics is really um, open from the age of zero to 100. You know? So anyone... No, basta kaya at gustong maging part ng Special Olympics kahit may profound disabilities, no, our doors are open for them and they just have to knock it and we will open it for them. All right, Sir John B, thank you so much uh, for gracing with us sa uh, ating programa and 
we look forward to attending one of the uh, events dyan sa Baypasig, no? Alam yeah. ko sa Decathlon yun. Yeah, we have weekly training, no? Please join us, weekly training natin. So, um, this March, magiging tatlo na, which started with Decathlon. Um, Tindisitas, we have expanded our credit in Decathlon Masinag. This March, kapag matapos na yung renovation sa may um, Alabang, Decathlon Alabang, we will be there. So, yeah, that's for um, Tindisitas, that, that is 9 a.m. until 11.30 in the mo- uh, you know, a.m., uh, Masinag, we're a bit um earlier there. That's 7.30 until 9.30 kasi medyo mainit doon ang, ano, ang, ang venue. Uh, we don't know the uh, Alabang yet will post it no, once available na yung mga information. Uh, please update us sa mga latest developments and connect with us kung ano mga iningain pa ng mga bagong activities sa SOP and we will definitely support that for, of course, sa para sa inyong goal na na ma- Tulungan natin ang ating PID athletes to uh, excel sa kanilang mga traps sa sportsman lang or hindi kaya sa ibang mga fields sa kanilang buhay. And yet, thank you so much sa John B. All the best and good luck sa mga activities pa na nakalain. Bye-bye po and God bless. Thank you and God's, pe- God's Thank you. Salamat po.